Then we're actually launching in January in Hollywood. Shoots don't get bigger than this. I really want to make sure that you become a part of it, you see the process, and then you actually communicate that back into our environment. Have you all seen the storyboards? The first one is Born to be Worship, and it'll be about bringing out that kind of, you know, Hollywood goddess, but also giving it a, a kind of classical, very beautiful Grecian feel to it as well. Well, I've met Melissa ages ago, but recently through my Canadian launch where I launched the brand into Canada I asked Melissa to come up and be my guest for the launch there and you know it was a Melissa that had completely evolved was completely beautiful was completely you know mesmerizing was very hard working we got on really well you know doing makeup on her was very easy I like the fact that Melissa's Australian so therefore it reflects a modern global beauty that's it's templated here you know taken to the world so with the first look, what we're doing is just something very natural, um, very statuesque, just contoured, very matte, chic and, and just very simple at the same point in time. You know, Melissa's features are looking very fine, very delicate. I just want to accentuate them slightly and keep them natural. Obviously, I'm going to start off with my primer, my dream cream, to give that illuminosity into the skin. And I just apply that everywhere under the foundation. And today, for the first time, I'm actually using my China Doll foundation which is a really beautiful matte finish and you don't really need to powder at the end and now I'm going to go into doing the um, blusher I'm using the mosaic because I just love the way and with my little blushing brush I just love the way you can just tap it right into the cheekbone and really accentuate contour and balance it on both sides and giving it that kind of just a little bit of flush into the matteness in through there and it really works well on Melissa because it just brings out her cheekbone, which is just beautiful. Um, you know, there's not too much mascara with this first look. It's a little bit about just being natural, just stepping out and still just being really dressed and really chic. So with the mascara, I am going to use my um, my chocolate brown in the um, Long Black series and Bent Wand. Love the Bent Wand. Just gets in there. And it's just, look at that natural. She just knows to go into that position. Um, just, it's just a really soft application all over the lash line to give me a nice soft look, you know, a bit contoured as well and just polished, um, working it right into the base and bringing it out and, you know, her lashes are beautiful and long so, you know, they're, just, they're automatically curled there as well which just works really well. So I'm going to use my silk pencil just to give me a really beautiful um, accentuation to her natural lip line. I colour it in first everywhere to give me a nice base and then I just line the outside. And the Melissa has a perfect lip liner so it's just easy. And I just like to get that nice natural base to it so it just accentuates. And then our goddess Calliope, the goddess of epic and poetry. Mm -hmm. And it would kind of give us a sateen matte finish to the lips, so it's not too much. I'm actually just kind of dabbing that over the lip liner across the main areas. And then I love the way Melissa does that, the cushion. And then I just like to just pat it in. So I just get a nice matteness to it as well beyond that. And that just gives me a really finished look to the lip and quite beautiful. Um, with the brows, I've just kind of worked them back. Um, with a little bit of um, concealer and a, and a baby powder almost, not, not a baby powder, such, but like a banana-y type of base, just to kind of soften and bring it into the hairline. And um, voila. Well, I've known about Napoleon for a long time, since living in Australia, but um, I got a call to say, would you like to go to have lunch with Napoleon in Toronto? And, uh, and I said, oh my God, Napoleon, gosh, I've been buying his cosmetics for years. I walk into the lobby of the hotel and there's Napoleon there and I just went, yeah, he was everything I imagined. Inspiring, larger than life with his attitude on life. Um, incredibly positive. Napoleon's got an, um, the best enthusiasm I've ever seen anyone have for any job. And it's so nice to see somebody that genuinely loves what they do. The effort he puts into the ingredients and his lipsticks to his philosophy on how to make a woman beautiful and everything he does is just right.